Hey guys, welcome to another Photoshop tutorial. Today we're going to be going over how to add this dry gold paint effect to your images. We're going to be using Photoshop Actions and we're going to be offering this resource absolutely free today. If you're new to the channel, please be sure to click on the subscribe button. If you enjoy this video, please like and share it. Let's get started. <laughs> Hey guys, so the first thing you're going to want to do is open up an image that you'd like to work with today. If you would like to use this image that you see here, there'll be a link in the description for download. Also, you're going to want to download the uh, Photoshop action that we have available in the description. We're extremely happy to say that this Photoshop action is absolutely free and I feel it's a great resource to add to your graphic design toolkit. So now that we have our image open, we'll open up our actions panel if you don't know where your actions panel is you can go into window and select actions and it should pop up in actions panel next you'll click the little drop down menu that's on the right side of your actions panel and you'll load up a new action so you just click load actions and select the uh, action that you downloaded from the description when you select your action it should come up like this here in your actions panel you'll click this little drop down menu and where it says play it you'll just highlight where it says play it and click on the play button on the bottom of the actions panel so i'll click play you'll see this little pop-up window this pop-up window is just uh telling you that this the this action is offered today as a free resource and if you can please subscribe to our channel we'd greatly appreciate it so you can click stop to continue the next thing we'll do is select the mask on your dry gold body paint folder here make sure you have that highlighted we'll zoom in to the eyes here and we're going to mask out the effect from the eye right here so i'll select my brush tool and i'll make certain that my foreground color is set to black and we'll just mask out from the eyeball here just take away the effect from here. I'll use my space bar to slide over. And we'll mask out on the other side here. Okay, so you should have something that looks like this here. And um, next thing I'll do is I'll select my eyeshadow color layer at the very top. This is a hue and saturation adjustment layer. So to select the color that of your choice, you can double click on the thumbnail of the saturation layer. And my hue is set at, for my eyeshadow is 168. For my hue, I have my saturation at 50 and my lightness at negative seven. You can X out of here now that you have those settings. If you would like to use the color of your choice, that is perfectly fine. I'll zoom back in using my brush tool. Make sure that your foreground color is set to white. I'll zoom in a bit more here. There we go. My brush tool selected. I'm, you want to make sure that you're on your mask and I'll make sure that my foreground is set to white. I'll just toggle my foreground and background colors. And I'm gonna make sure that my opacity is at 100. And we're just gonna color in here. Okay, I'll use the space bar to go over to the other side. So you should have something that looks like this here. Now I'll select my lip color adjustment layer. I'll double click on the thumbnail. And the hue that I have set for the lip color is 135. And my saturation is set at 69. And my lightness is set at 22. I'll X out of there as soon as I have those settings set 
and we'll perform the same action. I'll zoom in my brush tool selected. My mask is highlighted on the lip color adjustment layer. My white is set as the foreground color and I'm going to increase my brush size a bit and we'll just begin coloring in. So what's great about using the adjustment layers is that we can change the color to our choice even after we fill in here. So after we're filling in the color, we can change it to whatever color we like. So I'll zoom out and show you guys exactly what I mean here. I'll double click on the hue and adjustment layer and let's try to change this to a pinkish type of hue. I'm going to make sure that this is set to colorize here. And there you go. So I'll reset my values 135. 69 and 22. Let's use 335 as the hue. So I have my hue set at 335, my saturation set at 69, and my lightness set at 22. If that's a bit, a, a bit too vibrant, you can always, on your adjustment layer, you can always just lower the opacity to your preference or select a different color from your hue and adjustment layer. I wanted to show you guys that after you fill in on your mask, you're able to adjust the color to your preference. So you're not bound to the color choice that you uh, immediately use to mask. I think that's a good color. I'm going to select colorize because I want it to be like a turquoise type of color or a teal rather so we're gonna do 168 50 and negative 7 there we go the next thing I'll do is I'm gonna scale out a bit and I'm gonna add a new layer above all my layers make sure my foreground color is set to black and we're just going to add a bit of shadow along the right side here I'll increase my brush size a bit we're going to set our blending mode on this new layer to soft light and we're just going to color in a bit there we go so we get something like that there I want to change the color of her hair a bit to match her lip color so I'll select the lip color hue and adjustment layer and with my foreground color set to white I'll just color in around, around the hair here I'll scale my brush down a bit and we have to continue to color in around the hair so it has a little bit of a highlight now this works as any other uh, masking layer so you see I have some of the color coming in on our forehead here so I'll zoom in there and what we're going to do is change our foreground to black and just mask out the color that um, spilled over to our forehead here. So I'll use my brush tool with my foreground color set to black and we'll just mask out here. The next thing I'm going to do is add a light source. So I'll zoom out, select my brush tool, highlight the top layer and create a new layer above that. I'm going to increase my brush size quite a bit here. Something around there. I have it set to 4100 right now. So we, I'm just looking for a big brush size because I'm going to click right around here. I'm going to set my foreground to white and I'm just going to click once to see what we get here there we go for this I'm going to select um, effects at the bottom of the layers panel and I'm going to go into color overlay 
the color that I have set for my light source is F9A35E. I'll select OK here. I'll select OK here as well. And there you go. Now you have a light source. So you've pretty much completed this tutorial. So if you would like to add any further adjustments, feel free to. You can always add some adjustment layers to add some contrast and create some more depth. But I think this looks pretty good. If you're new to this channel, please be sure to click on the subscribe button. If you enjoyed this video, please like and share it. We want to continue to upload new content daily. So if you have any ideas for future tutorials that you would like us to upload, please let us know in the comment sections below. Until next time.